Hi, and welcome to the next I Can Wiki lesson. Today's lesson concerns uh, references and understanding the use of references when creating an article in I Can Wiki. So a reference essentially ensures confidence in our readers and fellow editors, um, and it ensures confidence that what is presented on I Can Wiki is legitimate, factual, and unbiased. Uh, references are often used for quotations and any information um, that can potentially be challenged. It needs to be supported by uh, an outside source that is factual. Um, so references basically confirm the truthfulness of your statements and they also provide a platform or a foundation for other readers uh, to continue re their research and to sort of deepen their understanding of the subject. Uh, if we just wrote something on the site without having any sort of uh, backing for what we said, it would also just put the reader at a disadvantage and they wouldn't be able to further explore the subject. So that's kind of a, a rundown of what references can offer an article. Um, to kind of elucidate on or further talk about that, we're going to look at uh, some standards. And one is that, um, for instance, Similar to Wikipedia, I Can Wiki does not rely on original research. Uh, we particularly are interested in resources that are you know, reputable and factual. Mostly these include published books, mainstream uh, press publications, and academic journals are, are perfect. So now that we've kind of set the, the foundation for why we use references on I Can Wiki, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what a reference looks like. So, I chose this article next gen at ICANN because it's timely. Uh, they just announced the next gen members of ICANN for ICANN 56 in Helsinki, Finland. And I have already added the names of the different uh, next gen members. But what I haven't done is I haven't added a, a, a reference. So Anybody who stopped by this page could look at this and say, okay, that's a great list of names, but how do I know that the editor or the person who wrote this content didn't just make up a bunch of names and throw it on the site? So what we're going to do here is open up the article by clicking the Edit Source button and... So we're now within this section here, which needs to be verified. And we are going to add a reference that verifies this information. So what I'll do is I'll type in I can do six next gen. And we'll see what pops up. All right, so what we see here. Looks like the application, announcement, and the same here. And then it looks like the announcement made five days ago on ICANN's site is what we're looking for. Okay. So as you can see, we've got the names of our next gen members along with the announcement. And we're gonna go ahead and copy this URL. And we're gonna go back into this article and we're gonna set the stage for a reference. So the, there's a couple of different ways that we can add a reference. One is manually, um, and that's simply just knowing what, what the format looks like. Or we can use this toolbar up here and this is the reference option. I'll go ahead and click on that and I'll show you how to use this option. So what we'll do is we'll create an opening bracket with the URL. And then we're going to actually name this. So we'll just name it 15 successful candidates for ICANN 56. Do a period, and then I'll actually list the date that I retrieved it so it's timely. So it's the 3rd of May, 2016. And we'll go ahead and close that. 
and we'll insert it. So I could go down the uh, manual route and show you how to do that manually, but as you can see, what this uh, formatting option gives us is it just makes it a little easier for us. We, we don't have to type in the opening reference tag and the closing reference tag. Um, it makes it just a little bit easier for us. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to scroll down through this entire article and I'm going to show you um, this, which is our references tag or our refer references um, category. And this essentially makes sure that your references are actually kept in a catch-all at the end of the article so readers can go to the end of the article and see um, the sort of annotation of the article. So let's go ahead and click preview. Scroll down, we can see our, our reference that we made here. So we've got uh, our second reference is made here attached to the latest news about the next gen members of ICANN 56. And then we scroll down and as you can see here we've got the first one made the beginning of April and then we have the one that we just did today. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and save this. All right, so to review, uh, references add some credibility to any article, and they're necessary for work on the site. Um, they are created either manually by opening with a uh, open reference tag and a close, closing reference tag, along with the URL, the uh, assumed title of, of your reference, and then the retrieval date, which is here. After each of these two uh, parts, there's a period. So that is probably the end of our session on references. Thanks so much.